For Mashable, I'm Lauren Goris. The Smithsonian contains 137 million objects, 100,000 cubic feet of archives, one and a half a million books, but only one home. And now the museum is looking to move its collection without removing a single work. Check out this statue of Thomas Jefferson from the Monticello Museum, a Smithsonian exclusive. Or is it? This is actually a one-to-one -one replica of the bronze statue created using a 3D printer. It's the first print in a new effort to copy the world's largest museum into physical or digital 3D models. The Smithsonian's Adam Mattello and Vince Rossi are the coordinators behind the idea. They noticed the glaring problem. Only 2% of the Smithsonian's collection is ever available at one time to the public. So the two 3D gurus used a Minolta laser scanner and generated a detailed 3D model of Tom. They sent the design to their partner, Red Eye on Demand, who printed the copy. They told CNET the museum claims it's the largest 3D printed replica with museum quality standards. In an interview with the Spar Point Group, they admitted the program is in its grassroots stages. Our day-to-day -day job is essentially trying to figure out how to actually accomplish that. How do we take 3D digitization and take it to the Smithsonian scale? We're at the ground floor of trying to understand that. The ultimate goal is to expand the 3D collection for educational purposes, traveling exhibits, and to have exhibits one click away online. Experience the 3D models for yourself by visiting the Smithsonian's Museum of Natural History website, which premiered an interactive 3D gallery of artifacts and fossils you can view at any angle. In D.C., the 3D print edition of Jefferson currently greets visitors who enter the Smithsonian's newest exhibit. For Mashable, I'm Laura Goris.